I take this opportunity, friends, to welcome you to this lunch hour. Uh, the Lord is good. Uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for being a committed follower. And thank you for those that are coming in the temple of the Lord to hear from the Lord. I wish to let you know that everything that we do, it is not in vain, but one day God will pay us. Ot open with me in Colossians, Colossians chapter number 1, verse 10 to 14. Colossians chapter number 1. Verse 10 to 14. The Bible says, To work worthily of the Lord unto all pleasing, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with, the, with all power, according to the mighty of his glory, unto all patience and long suffering with joy. Verse 12 says, Giving thanks unto the Father who made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of his saints and light, who delivered us out of the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. Verse 14 says, In whom we have the redemption, the forgiveness of the sin. Now, I want uh, we dwell on verse number, uh, I want us we dwell on verse number 11, where the Bible says that strengthens with all the power, according to might of his glory, and to the patience and long suffering with joy. Now, I want us to speak about uh, the dominion. And friends, when we speak about the dominion, we speak about the things that the Lord has given unto our, our, our control. We speak of what God has given to our lives so that it can be part of us. It can be part of our daily activity. There are things that the Lord has given to our lives and that things are the one that gives us power and gives us uh, the authority to do whatever we do. Whenever I speak about the dominion, friends, dominion is the act of controlling and taking over, having a command over and ruling with a voice of high power over everything. Now, God himself has a dominion over everything. In Colossians chapter number 1, the Bible says that in him everything was created by him and for him. Therefore, he has the authority over everything. And God saw it right so that he can delegate some of his authority to us so that we can rule with him we can control with him, or rather we can be partakers of his divine glory in this earth. Therefore, whenever we speak about dominion, it is controlling. Dominion, it is ruling over. Dominion, it is taking over. Dominion, it is managing. And dominion, it is having a voice over it. Friends, initially, God made man to have dominion over all. And that was the intention of God. Now, it is only sin that made man to be separated from the powers of God. But still, in John chapter number 3, verse 16, the Bible says, So God loved the world, and he brought his only begotten son so that we can regain the power, so that we can regain the dominion, so that we can regain the glory of man. Initially, God had created man with a certain godly glory. Now, being a dominion or taking over 
or having dominion over something is having a part of the glory of God in you. So that whatever you command goes as the Lord used to command the creation and everything worked. I want you to realize that the intention of God was to give man dominion over everything. And man was to rule over everything. And man was to control everything. And man was to be the most powerful creature over everything. When you open in Genesis chapter number 1, verse 26, the Bible says, I want you to hear the intention of God. As from verse 25 of Genesis chapter number 1, the Bible says, God made the wild animals according to their kind, the livestock according to their kind, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their own kind. And God saw that it was good. Now, here in verse 26, the Bible says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our own image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish. Now, one category of dominion is for you to rule over, according to the Bible. So that he can rule, they can rule over the fish in the sea and the bird in the sky and over the livestock and over the wild animals and over the creatures that moves along the ground. Now, the intention of God is for you to have power, is for you to have a say, is for you to speak over everything and follow your instruction because the Godhead, the character of Godhead, and the character of the power of the Trinity is in you. Sometimes I wonder when people fear witchcraft. And yet God has given us powers over the snakes. Has given us powers over everything. Whether it is crawless, it is in the earth, it is on the earth, it is, it is not seen. We have powers and we, dominion, we have dominion over it. God has given us the power to control not only the fishes in the sea, not only the birds in the air, not only the wild animals in the wild in the in the in the wild life, but also everything that crawleth and everything that is called which was created by God. We have power to control it. Verse 27 says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Now, it is the command of God for us to fill the earth and subdue it. It is the command of God for us to rule over the fish and the sea and the birds in the sky and over everything living creatures that moves on the ground because God delegated that power in us. Friends, as from today, I want you to walk as a person who has dominion over everything because God has given you the power over that. Dominion is the most unique gift from God. It is though not recorded as a gift in the book of Colossians. But having sharing the power of the Lord is sharing having the most expensive or unique gift that comes from the Lord. Having dominion is having the authority of God. Having dominion is operating in the image of God. Having dominion is speaking in the voice of God. Friends, if there is something that I wish to have this year, is for me to have dominion over everything that the Lord has granted unto me. Because I know it is the power of the Lord that will help me 
to do everything. I want you to realize that. Signs and wonders follow the people who have gained dominion in the kingdom of God. There are people serving the kingdom of God. But because they have not gained dominion in the kingdom of God, they are struggling in the kingdom of God. But signs and wonders will follow the people who have a command voice in the kingdom of God. Listen to this. When you read in Mark chapter number 16, when you read in Mark chapter number 16, there is a time that Jesus speaks to his people. There is a time that Jesus spoke to his people, the disciples, and tell them that if you believe in the Lord, therefore sign and wonders will follow your ministry. Now, if you believe in the Lord, dominion will follow you in the kingdom. If you believe in the Lord, the powers of the kingdom will serve in you. If you believe in the Lord, the Godhead character will be in you. We are struggling in the kingdom because we have not yet realized that we have dominion in the kingdom of God. Our dominion over all is because God has given us the power of salvation. Now, we are ruling over everything because God has given us power over everything. God has given us power to command everything to work for our good. Listen, friends. Through the power of the cross, we have gained the power over all. Through the power of the cross, we have gained the power over all. Through the power of the cross, we have gained the power to rule everything because Christ is leading us. Colossians chapter number 2 verse 15, the Bible says, And having dismayed the power and authority, he made us public as part of them traveling over them by the cross. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or what you drink or with regard to the religion festival, a new moon celebration or a Sabbath. Now, we have the power over everything. Therefore, the Lord has given us the dominion to rule over everything. Dominion of the Lord has enabled us to have all in all. Colossians chapter number 2 verse, Colossians chapter number 1 verse 19. This is what the Bible says. For it was with the good pleasure of the Father that in him should all the fullness dwell. And though and through him to reconcile all the things unto himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross through him. I say whether this thing upon the earth or things in the heaven, and you being in time past, alienated in the enemies in your mind, in your evil works. Yet now that he consiled in the body of the flesh through the death of the present, you holy without the blemish and prominent before him. If so be he continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard and preached in the creation under him. Therefore Paul was made a minister. Now through the dominion we are been perfected and through dominion we have been gaining the power to serve in ministry. Dominion comes to make us rest and enjoy the powers of the Lord. 
Now, when the dominion of the Lord comes upon you, you enjoy everything that the Lord gives you. In Luke chapter number 9, verse 1. In Luke chapter number 9, verse 1, the Bible says, When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all the demons and cure all diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Now, whenever you are gaining dominion in the kingdom of God, God or Jesus himself is delegating some of the powers unto you. Now, dominion is Jesus delegating some of the powers to you so that out of you, Jesus may give you the power for you to cast out every demon and to heal every disease. I want you to know that in God, we have all the powers that it takes. In Jesus Christ, we have been delegated to rule over. In Jesus Christ, no demon shall ever stand upon your powers because your powers are higher than the powers of his heart. I want you to know that in, in, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says that you are of God literally children because Great is he that is in you, that he that is in the world. Now, as you struggle to gain the powers of the Lord in this earth, I want you to know that you are a victor and you are a person who holds the kingdom of God in your hand because you got dominion. As you go back to your places of work, I pray for the mass of God to go with you. Go realizing that knowing that you are a person with the dominion and the power of the Lord in you so that you can rule, you can rule according to the grace that God has given you. Go with the mercy of God until we meet again. Let the peace of God cover us and shalom.